Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review on this item I purchased today. Uh, it is a digital wooden clock. So it came in this little box over here and it can be purchased at one of these toy outpost stores in Singapore. Uh, there are quite a few around. So uh, the good thing about toy outposts is that it does carry a variety of uh, items and uh, these items are actually uh, put on shelf by different sellers and uh, what they actually do is they rent the space from this uh, store itself uh, and then after that they pay a rental to the store and they can sell anything they want. Well, that's what I think. Um, so over here, I got this for about 22 Singapore dollars, which based on the current exchange rate, is about 15 US, uh, maybe slightly lesser. All right. So what I got was the black edition, uh, whereby it has a black wooden uh, body as well as a white LED light to display the time. And uh, why I got this color combination is because you guys have seen my setup and uh, I'm currently going with a black and white theme. So of course, I thought this would be the most suitable color scheme to go with. The package comes with three parts, uh, first is your AC cable, second is the wooden clock itself and third will be your manual. The clock can be operated by using three AAA batteries, otherwise you can just plug this in uh, to, the, to the slot over here and of course this is USB powered. So if some of your peripherals have USB pass through such as my Corsair 95, K95 keyboard over here which has one uh, right at the back there which is currently used to plug in my DAC which is over here. So if your other peripherals do have a USB pass through you can of course plug that in directly otherwise just find a suitable USB slot, uh, any will do and uh, this will be powered up right away. Once you have your USB plugged in, just go ahead and insert the uh, plug itself and you will hear a beep sound. Alright, anyway at the back it does have three buttons, so the set uh, up and down, uh, very straightforward. No need to actually set mine since uh, the timer is uh, spot on. So let me now find a suitable place to, to uh, display my clock. So I was looking for places to place my clock and I couldn't find a better place other than here which I think looks really really nice. I like the whole effect itself. Uh, of course it, the, the color scheme does go with my build very nicely. Uh, let me just focus some on this so that you guys can have a better idea of what it's like. So you can see it's a wooden sort of design on the body. Uh, of course, I, as I mentioned, I got the black one and I think the, the white LEDs really, really glow nicely. The number digits displayed are very clear. You don't see any blurring uh, caused by the wooden body and uh, uh, I actually like this purchase a lot. Uh, it may be a little bit expensive, uh, 15 US or 22 Singapore dollars. Um, however, you know, I just thought this would go well with my whole setup. What I do intend to do in the future is to place some foam padding on the bottom and maybe an adhesive foam uh, so that maybe I can like uh, glue this to the bottom of the monitor or maybe on top of my desktop or you know somewhere else that uh, this may fit uh, more nicely but for the time being I'm just gonna put it here of course I will be doing a cleanup of all my wires over here currently it is a little bit cluttered and a little bit messy so but otherwise this is how it looks like uh, with my whole setup and the timer itself yeah I actually did have an idea to modify the clock, uh, you know, as per my general tendency to modify things, you know, blasters, PCs, so on and so forth. So I do have I an idea to modify this. It's a, uh, it's not really gonna tinker with the internals and stuff. Just gonna make it look more cool and uh, see how this can actually personalize and uh, uh, you know, customize my. Uh, desk setup for the time being but yeah I'm plugging into my USB port over here I do have multiple ports it can of course plug into the back of my uh, PC IO port which will be somewhere over here uh, here to here um, I also do have USB slots on my BenQ monitor the LG one doesn't have so I can also plug it in there uh, otherwise I do have my port uh, but I figured since uh, you know I have four slots over here which I currently vacant I'll just use that and I was playing with this clock and little did I realize that this was actually a fully functional clock. It has the time, it also has the date, an alarm, two alarms, and even a third alarm. Last is the temperature of the room itself. Let me just go ahead and test out what the alarm sounds like. Alright, so this is how the alarm sounds like, it's your very generic alarm beeper. The one that is really annoying and uh, which uh, most of us while growing up should be very fond of. And the last thing I want to show you guys is that I've currently powered off my computer and the digital wooden clock is still on. So that's cool, you can actually use it as a, a you know, a bedside kind of a clock uh, for those who have their PCs or any USB port which is close to them. Uh, close to the bed itself uh, and of course uh, it is quite versatile you can use it even at work there's a clock maybe in your on your dining table in the kitchen that sort of thing which is cool so that brings me to the end of today's video 
I hope you guys enjoyed it as a little something different. So I do have quite a lot of different gadgets which I have acquired over the last few months or so which I do feel like reviewing for you guys. Uh, it is more uh, PC and tech related so uh, those of you who, who do have an interest in that of course may find it interesting and I'm sure they will be somewhat relevant to your daily life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.